This video shows how to create a function linked to sliders so that you can use the sliders to change the coefficients. So we're just going to put a grid on here with some axes. Uh, we're going to make the numbers a lot bigger. So we're going to increase the font size to 20. So we can see them more clearly. And I'm just going to drag that a bit more central. Um, so we need the input bar to begin with where we enter in the functions and you can change the position of that input bar if you wish to and then when you define a function with parameters in GeoGebra you always start with the sliders, the parameters I'm just going to have three for a basic completing the square function and uh, I'm then going to type in my equation that's going to link to these three sliders to modify the sliders, you can modify all three at once uh, by dragging around them, right click, I can unfix their position so that I can move their position if I then right click on them, I can modify anything I like about their properties so their minimum and maximums, the increments, I just want them to go up by one every time I drag the slider and I could the width as well, you could make the line, the slider longer so that when you change numbers it's easier to change the number because a, a smaller movement is a smaller change. I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm now going to type in the completed the square version so y equals a x minus b all squared plus c. It's important that the names that I use here a, b and c are exactly the same capitals included as the sliders there so that they do activate these coefficients then press enter to put the function onto the screen and you can see as I drag these sliders that the graph moves um, to note here if I click on that function you can change anything about its appearance you can change its style the thickness of it um, you can change its color uh, and you can also turn the grid and axes on and off over there uh, I now want it to show um, this equation as I change these sliders so unfortunately if you right click here on object properties and go to algebra there isn't a completing the square option for the displaying of that equation so we're going to have to type it in as a text box so I'm going to insert some text here and I'm going to say I want the text to be y equals I'm going to use the objects that are on the screen so a x minus and I do have to use that object to select the B, I can't just type it in, otherwise it will assume that's a not that it's a static text rather than the dynamic one that changes as the sliders change. And now you can see that that equation is clearly showing here. And when I move those sliders, you can see that that equation is changing. And that's really nice for students to investigate uh, what's happening there each time. And again. As with the other objects, once you click on that text, um, you can change anything you like about its appearance. You can make the writing bold, you could make it a bit bigger, medium or large or very large. You could put it in a fluorescent box so it's a bit clearer and grabs the student's attention a little bit more.